Film Review. Flat Limer Joel Schumacher's 1990 hit gets a deadly dull remake. Joel Schumacher's 1990 schlockster piece Flat Limers was perhaps most notable for taking a silly but strangely compelling premise a gang of sexy, thrill-seeking medical students who intentionally flatland to experience a little slice of death as well as a stacked cast of young talent Julia Roberts, Keeper Sutherland, Kevin Bacon and somehow doing nothing much of note with either of them. So say this much for director Niels Hardman Opel's decent-looking yet deadly dull remake. It's nothing if not faithful to the original. About as inessential as a reboots get, Flat Limmer finds a replacement cast of equally overqualified actors, and beefs up its depictions of the afterlife with some updated visual effects, but otherwise offers no reason for reanimating this long-expired property. Taking over Seth Erlen's old role is Ellen Page, who stars as Courtney, a serious medical student for whom a childhood tragedy has prompted an interest in the afterlife. Discovering an unused basement facility beneath the hospital where she's a medical resident, and perhaps moved by the tough love motivations of her cranky Professor Sutherland, appearing for purely meta reasons she hatches a plan to research brain activity after death by using herself as a test subject. The film doesn't waste much time exploring what pushed this promising future doctor to risk her life in the name of nebulous research and neither do the two fellow students she recruits to stop her heart and subsequently jolt her back to life, Sophia Keir C. Clements Courtney's spunky buddy beset by self-confidence issues, and James James Norton a callow trust fund himbo who lives on his own private yacht. After a short spell of hand wringing, they go along with the plan, Courtney flatlands, and the film's visual effects team cooks up some trippy if unimaginative imagery to illustrate her sojourn to the great beyond. Arriving just in time to help bring her back into the light are Ray Diego Luna the one halfway reasonable student in the group, and Marlo Nina Dobri the hotshot president who wears spiky high heels while on rounds and righteously exclaims things like, this isn't science, it's pseudoscience. At first, the experience seems to have been a positive one. Courtney's brain gets a jump start, and she finds herself suddenly remembering arcane details from old medical textbooks arousing jealousy from her hyper-competitive peers, who all want their turns going under. Herein lies the film's one clever update. While the Gen X flat limbers cheated death for a cheap thrill, their millennial counterparts do it in search of better grades. Despite the film's brief attempts to convince us otherwise, none of these experiments seem to reveal much of anything about post-mortem brain activity, nor do they spark any sort of philosophical or theological epiphanies. They do, however, Put our motley gang of medicals in the mood to party, and the film's running time swells an extra ten minutes to accommodate some mild sequences of drinking, dancing and screwing. In spite of their medical training, it comes as something of a surprise to our heroes to learn that temporarily killing themselves might bring about unintended consequences, and all of them begin to experience sticky visions and hallucinations. It takes them an agonizingly long time to figure out why this is happening and the film promptly devolves from a goofy 90s throwback into a thoroughly flat J-horror throwback, full of cheesy jump scares and plenty of angry figures with dark eye makeup glowering in doorways. As dull as it gets, Flat Limber never sinks all the way into outright fiasco, and there's enough talent both behind and in front of the camera to keep things on the right side of basic competence. The actors do what they can with the material, and Opelf happens upon a few decent visual ideas. What's missing? However, is any indication why anyone involved wanted to revisit this material? While many remakes struggle to break out of the shadow of their hallowed source material, the original Flat Limbers was no one's idea of a classic, providing ample opportunities for improvement on which this film stubbornly refuses to seize. Film Review Flat Limbers reviewed at AMC Century City, September 29, 2017 Production a Columbia Pictures presentation in association with Cross Creek Pictures of a Lawrence Mark, Further Films, Saffron Company Production. Produced by Lawrence Mark, Michael Douglas, Peter Saffron. Executive Producers, Michael Bulderman, Robert Mittis, David Blackman, Brian Oliver, Hassan Tahir. With, Ellen Page, Diego Luna, Nina Dobrief, James Norton, Kiersey Clemens, Keeper Sutherland. Directed by Niels Harbin Opelf. Screenplay, Ben Ripley, from a story by Peter Filardi. Camera color, Eric Kress. Editor, Tom Elkins. Music, Nathan Barr.